Hey everyone, Grandpa Jake here. I'm going to tell you about a small drone that prices around $200. And this is the Verhawk V6. What's really nice about it is it's a GPS drone, which means you can do waypoints through the use of an app. You can have a follow me, which will follow wherever you are with your transmitter, point of interest, and it's a very quiet drone. But the part I like is the brushless motors. That's going to give it longevity. I ran it twice yesterday on two batteries. The motors were still very cool. It responded well. It's got a built-in 1080p camera, which takes very good photos and video. You're always going to get a little shaky because you don't have a gimbal. But all in all, this is a great starter drone for some. The stability, when it took off, it held position within a foot of where it was and that worked out really well. I'm going to just show you a couple things that you might want to know to get going. Basically turn your transmitter on, you're going to put your battery in and it comes with two. There is a little plug. Make sure you take that off of the little yellow connector before you insert it. Once you put it in on the bottom there's a little lock switch. Make sure you turn that so your battery does not come out. Leave it lay Steady until you hear a beep beep on your receiver. Once you do that, you want to pick it up and you want to make three turns horizontally like this. And once you do that, I may have made four, you put the camera upwards and do the same thing. And the green lights are going to turn red and green solid once it makes a sync with the satellites. There we go. It's solid. You're ready to go. Set it down. You can take off real easy. The red button, you push it once. The motors are going to start. You push the auto takeoff here. It's going to go up about five foot. It's going to hover for you. When you finally come back home, after you're done flying, it's going to let you know first if the battery is low. You're going to get some beeping. If it does go out of range or your battery gets low, automatically it's going to start to come back home. Or there's a return to home button here. Just push this. It's going to come back. When it gets to where you want, press land. It's going to start coming down. If it's off a little bit, just use your controls. But it's a very easy drone to fly. It's very quiet. It's got enough power to, to handle mild winds. and. I'm really happy with it. It comes with a charger and basically you're going to need to plug it into a USB port or buy yourself a little dongle like this that puts a little more power out. You are going to need to, I'm going to turn this off for a second, pull the battery out. You are going to need to get a little SD card, or I'm sorry, a micro, a micro SD card which goes right in here. I was using a 32 gigabyte, worked fine. You could get a 16 gigabyte for a few dollars, but make sure you pick one of those up because that's where your video and your photos are going to be saved. You use the app to turn it on and off the video, or you can use the camera here. First button takes a picture, you hold it in for a second, it's going to turn on the video. So you can also do it with the app. Other than that, I think it's a very stable little drone and for the price, it gets you into this type of flying. It can expand from there and again, having the brushless motors is great. It comes with two batteries. I didn't sit there and time the amount of flying time. It takes a little while to charge. So charge, you know, one during the day, one maybe when you go to bed. and. You know, then you'll get yourself quite a bit of time of flying, enough to, to handle being out there. So, any questions, don't hesitate to write, but I think it's a, a great drone. It comes with some spare props, a tool to take them off. Beyond that, I can't tell you too much more. Have a great day. Take care.